Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Uh, please let me know if you have any difficulty from your side. Uh, today we will have some entertainment. Uh, it's fun. And uh, you know, I found uh, I found a video of uh, uh, this kid. His name is Daniel. And he is mocking David Wood. I don't know really what to say, but I hope Muslims and Christians will listen and let us laugh together. You know, Muhammadan, when somebody is nice to them, they think, uh, you know, like my, myself, I uh, criticize David Wood for being soft with those Abdul. And when you are soft, those Abdul, they will think, or they will speak of you as a weak person. You are weak, you know, you are soft. Let us see what this Abdul, Daniel, he is trying to say to us. I find it very interesting. So he created a video uh, saying, Christian cancel David Wood. Christians, they cancel David Wood. And Muslims, I'm not the one who's talking. This is your friend. He is inviting kids to call him, or let us say people who don't agree with David Wood. And if somebody don't agree with David Wood, David Wood is canceled. That's it. So take that into your notification or take it as a note. And let us remember that for a while, because soon we will see who is canceled and by who. And remember, I don't agree with David Wood in the way he debates Muslims because I find him very, very, very soft. You know, those people, they think your kindness is a weakness and uh, it's a very stupid, obvious, stupid religion. And we can prove it in two seconds. Actually, Daniel today is going to help me to prove Islam to be stupid. But before we start, I have a challenge for this kid. If he is a man, you see, he have no excuse. You will notice that all of them, they avoid coming to me. Muhammad Hijab, he promised to debate me, he did not. I am the one who called him. He hung up on me six, seven times. He did not let me ask any question. Did you say that? Give me the reference. <laughs> because he was so scared that I would ask a question. This guy, I offer him an open debate. Open. No moderator. He can be in his channel. I will call him and I will be in my channel. So no excuse. If you are really a man and you can take the challenge, please take it. I mean, you are the man. You can you can defeat everybody. Come on. If you say no, you are just really stupid to say no. I mean, this is opportunity, man. You will win anyway. What you will lose? <laughs> so this is the this is the Abdul making fun of David Wood and saying the Christian they cancel David Wood what I was trying to convince David of that this is this kind of system is such a good deal and modern Christians current Christians would much prefer to live under an Islamic state than the current secular state mm. and look who is his guest the Christian guest is six years old 16 16 years old boy maybe he's 14 and this is the guy who canceled David Wood mm. so listen carefully all the Christian they prefer to live under Islamic state than secular state. But this is the same stupid guy. His name is David Daniel. Sorry, uh, his name is uh, Daniel. Daniel Hagagoju. <laughs> I will say the prophet, he asked him a question. Listen and laugh. <laughs> Remember, we just heard him saying. Christians are trying to convince David that Christian they prefer, all Christian they prefer to live under secular under Islamic state, not secular state. And Abu Sayyid Prophet he asked him a question. What was the question? I wonder. Ideal uh, government, an, an ideal state, an ideal nation should be led by these uh, Islamic laws that are strictly applied under which uh, I am not allowed to speak. I should First, is the question, is uh, is the voice is it clear, guys? Is the sound from the video is coming clear? Uh, let me know, please, if the sound is coming clear, because 
Uh, if you cannot hear the video, then there is no point. Is the sound coming good? Give me one, please, if the sound coming coming good. All right. Little bit low. Okay, let us increase the sound. You might be old like me. This is why you don't have a good hearing. Now he will say, I hear very well. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I know it. I know it. So, uh, you know, uh, upstate prophet. And by the way, this uh, Daniel, Daniel, he speak about himself. He defeated everybody. He defeated upstate prophet. Upstate prophet is a very nice person, you know. And that's why they, they take advantage of his kindness. And again, again, David do it, upstate prophet. Stop being kind. They will think it's a, even if you're like being humble, says, you know what, last, last time when I spoke to you, I wasn't do I did not do good. They will take that and you just admit it that you've been defeated. But if you are defeated, then you will leave atheism. <laughs> but now uh, Daniel is going to defeat apostate prophet. Should be put to death for my ideas, or homosexuals should be put to death, adulterers should be put to death, and all these things. Uh, obviously, you don't agree that uh, that that liberalism is a is, is a good system, and you think that liberalism is a is a terrible, bad moral system. But I want to ask you, where do you live, Daniel? I mean, I live in uh, the U.S. You live in the U.S. Why do you live in the U.S.? I mean, <laughs> This is a question of consistency. This system of liberalism is imposed on the entire globe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> a second ago, he was trying to convince David Wood that living in Islamic state is way better than living in liberal state. Listen carefully. A second ago. This is what I was trying to convince David of. That this is this kind of system is such a good deal, and modern Christians, current Christians, would much prefer to live under an Islamic state than the current secular state. Mm. And the guest is 16 years old. And this is the one who did cancel David with. You know, before we talk about the stupidity you just said, and you live in USA, you idiot. This guy, he have 600,000 people subscribed to him. And you bring me 16 years old, and he cancel him. What about the 600,000 who listen to him? So you bring me two, three, four people in you know, this day, they, they bash David Wood, and you are saying that the Christian, they cancel. And who would say this guy is a Christian? Isn't it a shame of you actually to bring a kid to be sitting talking to you and you claim to be an adult? Is he isn't he under age? Yeah, this is remind me of the Muslim women. She called me and she said that Jesus he played with his mother boop and then Mimi Hijab he says a Christian prince he said to her, suck on me. <laughs> and she is young. <laughs> so listen, so now I'm trying to convince you that Christians they will prefer way better to live under Islamic State. Then when they ask him where you live, where you live, the drama. If you have a tissue, please bring one, because you need it. Liberalism is a, is a terrible, bad, immoral system. But I want to ask you, where do you live, Daniel? I mean, I live in uh, the U.S. Mm -hmm. I live in the U.S. Why do you live in the U.S.? I mean, this is a question of consistency. That this system of liberalism is imposed on the entire globe and that there is no country in the world today that actually implements the Sharia. In the what the heck? But all his debates saying that the Christians, they don't want Christianity. It turned to be that Muslims, they want liberalism. He just said, he said, there's nowhere in the world. There's nowhere in the world, <laughs> in the Muslim world, anybody want Islam. <laughs> no, no, he is not a snake. He's just a stupid lizard, the enemy of Allah. <laughs> and we will use him for good. Just wait. So say it again where you live. And look his sound. Look his, how, how he is down. Like suddenly he was shocked with the question. Where you live, Daniel? Moral system. But I want to ask you, where do you live, Daniel? I mean, I live in uh, the U.S. Mm. You live in the U.S. Why do you live in the U.S.? I mean, 
This is a question of consistency. That this system of liberalism is imposed on the entire globe, and mm -hmm. that there is no country in the world today that actually implements the Sharia in the, in the fullest meaning and sense of it. Mm -hmm. I wish, I wish that I could go to a country and that's ruled by Sharia that the West won't bomb and sanction and destroy. Listen, the country who ruled by Sharia, the West will bomb. Right now. Taliban is ruling Afghanistan and nobody is bombing them why you don't go you coward you liar you hypocrite what about Pakistan is bombed every day by America you don't go to Saudi Arabia huh so I mean you see you do you see the coward the liar and not only this you see, this guy, he live in America. Do you know what it means to live in America? It means to obey Allah. How? The stupid Quran says, the book of hate. In the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 51, that the one who take the Christians and the Jews as friends or protectors, he is one of them. And that goes for obeying their law, paying tax. And if you do that, you are one of them. So the excuse of this potato, that well, all the world is under the, the, the shoes of liberalism, and uh, uh, Daniel, he is a Muslim who have to live under the shoes, what he can do. And what you can do? The enemy is so big, and we are so small. And the funny is, this guy, he made a video uh, 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 making fun of David Wood, saying that there is avalanche of apostasy between Muslims. But David Wood was not saying that, really. He was quoting the sheikh. And he was laughing. They're leaving Islam like it's a sport. You see how we laugh like a puppy. <laughs> this is the laugh of Daniel. <laughs> but the same stupid guy, he have a video explaining why Muslims leave Islam. I mean, can you believe the stupidity? The same potato who is laughing at David Wood because he said actually David Wood is just quoting a scholar and we play that in our you know introduction always usually you know and he himself is part of a video where three Muslims discussing why Muslims leave Islam <laughs> is it this is your video you stupid why some Muslims becoming atheist? Ustaz Hamza, Ustaz Zaruza, see? And Ustaz, da Usta, you are Ustaz too? That's deep. Why some Muslims leave Islam became atheist? That Ustaz Hamza just said, um, I think that there are many reasons why um, you find Muslims um, finding disbelief more compelling for them personally stop i have to play your love now hold on excuse me and they're leaving islam like it's a sport and we're at the beginning of an avalanche of apostasy the avalanche of apostasy the avalanche of apostasy the avalanche of apostasy avalanche of apostasy an avalanche of apostasy a tsunami of apostasy <laughs> and they're leaving us on like this i think that there are many reasons why um, you find muslim and they're leaving us on like it's a sport more compelling for them personally I think what we're seeing a lot of demographically is not um, 
people of religion turning to atheism per se or agnosticism. Rather, a lot of uh, individuals are becoming what are considered non-affiliated or nons. Uh, uh, listen, brother. Look like nobody believe in a God. They want to make his penis endless. Hey, by the way, Daniel, uh, this is a perfect a private question. But I mean, this is your religion. Uh, it, what is the size really your prophet he promised you? As long as you are Ustad. So can you confirm to us, like, if you want to respond or something? Like your prophet, he says the penis would be endless. I know, I know. You will say this is weak hadith. Yeah, because Islam is weak, and all of you are weak. Muhammad is weak. Allah is weak. He could not even preserve. If Islam is based on the hadith and the Quran, what kind of God he could not preserve the hadith too? Because what the point if you preserve the Quran, which been eaten by the goat, with uh, which Aisha she said the cow chapter used to be the same as the Hazab chapter, where Omar he says it was what, more than a million twenty thousand letters and now we don't have even 270 letter 70,000 letter. so I'm not going to go there but as long you are a person trying to explain maybe the reason they are leaving Islam because they are not convinced where is Gog and Magog shall I show you the video of uh, your brother Yasser Qadi who you cancelled him you bring me a person a kid he is 16 years old saying they cancelled David Wood but aren't you ashamed of yourself attacking Yasser Qadi, who you yourself, you said he was your ustad? Potato. Did you cancel Yasser Qadi? No? Now listen. Uh, if somebody make fun of you and he's a Muslim, obviously you are being canceled. This is uh, Mufti Laith. So he, he speaks about yaqeen or sellout and they uh, liaise with, they take uh, government money and they, uh, the CBE and what they do is they promote an LGBTQ uh, agenda and he quotes... Um, so so uh, Daniel, he preferred to live in Saudi Arabia where they promote LGBT better than living in Afghanistan, brother. What he can do, where he will go. He preferred to pay the tax and to take Joe Biden as his president. He like it or not, he is your president. You like it or not, the American army is a Christian army. You like it or not, you are ruled by the Christians and the atheists. You like it or not. And the Quran said it clearly in chapter 5, verse number 51. The one who take the Christians and the Jews as a friend or protectors, awliya, he is one of them. He is what? He is one of them. So you coward, you answer apostate prophet saying, well, where I will go? Liberalism controlling the world. But at least there you pay tax and the tax will be used to build mosque. Here you pay task, tax, a huge part of it will be sent to Israel. And you claim to be a big anti-Israel, big time. Oh, I forgot, maybe you don't pay tax. Are you in welfare? So, uh, you know, the Muslim, they make fun of him. They make fun of Mimi Hijab, Mimi Hijab make fun of them. Uh, Mimi, Susu, Fufu, Dudu, all of them, they make fun of each other. And then he bring me a kid to say that David Wood was cancelled by the Christians. Hey, David, you are being cancelled. That's it. You are fired. You know, Daniel, he decide, you know, listen, I, I think I think if you can defeat David, I think you can defeat me. So easy. I mean, da David is big deal for you, right? That's why you are making yourself a giant now. And you claim you defeated him. So why? When? When we will do it? When we will do it? I, I'm not talking about going to the bathroom. No, you will do it yourself here. Yeah. But when we will do it? Hmm? When we will debate? Oh, all of you, bunch of cowards. But he comes at him for the word. He says, wow. Good day. Well, I tell you. We have commercial. Sorry for that. It is mute the commercial i know you cannot see the video it's okay give me a second 
<clears throat> what, what happened when you change your IP? Okay. So here, let me put the uh, video. Says, Mushkil means ambiguous. It does not mean ambiguous. <laughs> it means problematic or requiring explanation or, rec or reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Hit the books, Daniel Habikatju. I did the work. Now it's your turn. And there you can see Sana Saeed. So just to make it simple, <laughs> Abu Layth here explaining why this guy is attacking other Muslims. They took his job. They fired him from Al Bayan Institute and they hired a different one and the one he's bashing him. Now let us go to different video. Oh, hold on. This guy was cancelled by the Muslims too. This guy don't even know how to read Quran, neither Hadith. And he add words to the Quran. He take words from the Quran. And the Muslims, as you see here, Islam productions are making fun of him. 100 mistakes at least they found, he said, in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't want I don't want my love. I'm going to use I'm going to use uh, uh, what's his name? Daniel. <laughs> he should he should he just said the penis. Ma asbarahum. Guys, ma asbarahum. Allah ma asbarahum. I mean, what you can say? That's it. Allah ma asbarahum. Allah he did not hold their penis. Uh, <laughs> let us continue. Then Abu, I can't play. I mean, there's tons of video. I, I just searched like, you know, no, I came, I, you know, I, I, I went for a walk and I came and I put those videos and I found tons of videos of this guy. People are dying laughing at him. Uh, this guy, uh, Mufti Laith, uh, is quoting what Daniel is speaking about Mufti Mink. See, he bring a, a kid, he is 16 years old, to speak against uh, David Wood. But he cancel Mufti Mink. Cancel Mimi Hijab, cancel, uh, 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 I mean, he cancel everybody. Everybody cancel everybody in Islam. Listen carefully what he said. So Daniel Hakikadu, rather, <laughs> has uh, he's made a post about Mufti Mink. So Daniel says, or in the words of those of you that are familiar with Anil Kapoor, where he says, Danny boy! <laughs> Danny boy. When he went to receive his Oscar. Danny boy. So Danny boy has said, it annoys me how Mufti Mink deliberately avoids mentioning Allah. Mufti Mink, he avoid using the word Allah. The same as Mimi Hijab, he, uh, you, he avoid using inshallah. And look what he said. Listen carefully what Mufti Mink will say. What uh, Mufti Mink will say. using Almighty in all his tweets. The last time he tweeted the name Allah was once in 2017. Is there another religion whose celebrity creatures substitute the name of their God for a generic translation? Is there? I ask you. <laughs> and look who's asking. Not Daniel. As in the Arabic, Daniel, rather Daniel. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Danny boy is asking why must one substitute the name Allah for the name Almighty? Oh, rather. <laughs> People, so there's the unmomento, so we can. So listen carefully. This idiot, he is mentally ill. Imagine somebody go and check your post for the last five, seven years, 2017. 
This idiot, he seek intention or attention to the point. He start scrolling in Facebook of Mufti Bank Mink. We day after day after day after day. He spent maybe three, four, five nights scrolling Facebook, looking for the name Allah. He could not find it. <laughs> And now he came to the conclusion that Mufti Mink is avoiding in purpose saying the name of Allah. I mean, do you see the, how they trash each other? The guy, he make videos, he say the word Allah a thousand times. Now he is not saying Allah. The whole story is that Mufti Mink is hired by the same organization which this guy, Daniel, he was fired from. The same as the other guy, he was bashing him because he took his job. He was the head of the, you know, Mufti Minkis, uh, sorry, Mufti Abu, Abu Layth, he said that. Uh, you know, for me, I just take what he's saying. So because they fire him, and those are the people now getting paid, so now he is bashing them one by one. And here we ask ourselves, how come Daniel did not notice that Mufti Mink never said the word Allah before? <laughs> Inspiration of Jibreel. Uh, but there is something more more funny. Uh, not this one. Hold on. Uh, not this one. Let, let me let me look for it. Maybe I lost the video. And maybe we can find it. Hold on. Once upon the time, Daniel Huchajok Jew, is a Jew, he went to the closet and he found his wife praying in the closet. Let me find the video. Here we go. We found it. Takbir. That's really amazing. You know, those things didn't happen all the time, you know? Let me see where we can go here. Give me a second. I'm just avoiding the ad. There's an ad. I have to skip it, what I can do. A stupid, you know, YouTube. You can't play anything without an ad. So, Daniel, he want to show the Muslims around the world that his wife, she is a very good woman. Where she pray? She pray in the closet. Why? She says, well, Sajah Tarbiya says, all right, you know, that one, all right. <laughs> she was also a bit naughty, naughty, you know, because he reads this poem to her. Uh, where he says, um, he says, what do you say? She says, yes. So he says, all right. And this old, uh, this idiot, supposedly now he is speaking Arabic, but he's bashing the other guy, and he make fun of his Arabic. And now this guy, he, I, I did not understand a word from what he said. I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Let us move where? Where is the post? Where is the post? The post, the post, the post, the post. The post, the post, the post. Did I get the wrong video? Maybe, I don't know. 
Give me a second, hold on. Maybe I got the wrong video. Uh, maybe you have two videos about it. Let us see. Anyway, Mufti Laith is making fun of the, and, and this guy, he is showing even the picture of the closet where his wife, she pray, which is really amazing. Let's get you know. to Daniel Let us see, hold on here, let me search. Give me a second, if you don't mind, please. I don't know what I'm getting here. Okay, hold on. Yeah, anyway, he posts, actually, I have a post of him. Hold on. This is his page in Facebook. Here we go. Actually, Facebook is better. Give me a second. So Daniel, peace be upon him, he wanted to show the whole world how decent his wife is. So what happened? He went inside his bedroom and he found his wife, uh, like, you know, the, the rag, the one they pray in. Read, read to me, brother, read the story. Very touching. I walked by the closet in my home. And this morning, and I was surprised. I was surprised because there was a prayer mat there. Apparently, my wife, Ummu Khalid, had been praying in the closet. This was a news to me, because she doesn't typically pray there. Turned out, she is reviving amazing sunnah. What the heck is that? The Prophet says a woman prayer, prayer in her room is better in prayer than her courtyard. And prayer in her closet is better than a prayer in her room. <laughs> but look what happened now. People, I mean, stupidity have unlimited. Yes, he's a prophet, he said that. But do you see how stupid is that? If the purpose is modesty, well, the woman, she is inside her house and nobody can see her anyway. And now she is not in the courtyard, she is in the room. No one can see her. No, 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 it's not enough. In the closet is even better. What about we put her in the drawer? Do you see the stupidity? What about we put the woman in the drawer because she is more decent? So if you have a wife, she pray, she pray in the courtyard, she is a bad woman. If she pray in the bedroom, she is a better woman. If she pray in the closet, she is a very good woman. And if she pray in the drawer, she is saint. <laughs> what about you put her inside the case and let her pray there? The stupidity is amazing because nothing changed from moving from the courtyard to the bedroom to the closet. It's still private and nobody there. Guys, do you see the stupidity? Do you see the mental illness? And this guy, obviously, he liked to show off. So he make an article writing about it and how good he, his wife is. 
hey by the way is that mean your wife before she was not practicing this this is what you said and how how come you are knowledgeable of Islam you never know that you don't know this shame on you and your wife she is teaching you I thought they are half brain so now you learn from your wife a Sunnah and you are the Muslim Sunni mashallah mashallah in different video he speak about why we cannot have a woman as a representative yet he just admitted he learned from his wife the practice of Islam and then what is nice actually now we know how his uh, closet look like what the heck is that what kind of a conservative man he show pictures in the closet of his wife's dress why you want to do that I thought you're not allowed to that pink orange and here she's praying why are you sure she was praying maybe she was calling somebody maybe calling Allah using the phone <laughs> maybe she was maybe she was using the mat because she was doing some laundry ironing maybe she is preparing the clothes how you know she's praying you just said you just saw the mat you did not even see the wife pray but this is the hypocrisy now we go to him with apostate prophet because we are love so where do you live daniel actually implements the sharia in, in the fullest meaning and sense of it i wish i wish that i could go to a country and that's ruled by sharia that the west won't bomb and sanction and destroy i wish you know i wish i had that opportunity but unfortunately i can't because of liberal supremacism wouldn't it be more honest and more consistent with your system? so what we are learning now that all muslims in the world around the world including him he decided to be subdued but isn't it your prophet he suffered from the same and he did hijra you coward why you don't immigrate to isis state isis they implemented sharia in full rank but you stayed home why you don't immigrate to syria where there's a part of it is controlled by al-qaeda right now as we speak but you stayed home where in america where in a democracy in which you fight where in a country take tax from you and give it to israel where in a country your prophet said that you will not find one muslim is loving or nice to those who oppose allah and his messenger but you live like a puppy and you pay tax and you don't dare to practice what you believe in so where do you live you need know, upset prophet by the way sometimes he asks questions they come in a perfect place uh, you know, I believe he is he and David Wood. They are very soft with Muslims, very soft. That's why they come to debate them. But even soft people, you don't even dare to answer. Actually, I have a video of somebody. He is a Muslim. He is talking about you. Yet you could you you've been defeated by a female. Look at this, mashallah, Mufti Mink. Let us see the other one. Where is the other one? Oh, not not this one. Look at this guy. This guy is speaking of you. That you've been defeated by what by a female what a female you could not answer her questions who would be affected by their nonsense especially when you're unable to defend the truth what the heck especially when you are unable to defend the truth who is the one is canceling you now this guy is a sheikh he is speaking about you debating the girl and the girl she challenged you and you put your tail between your legs and you could not answer her for example, our brother Daniel, which I've warned many times against when he came to... Oh boy, I warned many times against. I don't... Why you do that? 
Why you do that? Let us skip this part, bashing part. I don't want. I don't want to hear bashing. Come on. You know, I don't want to hear bashing. Please. You're really careful about, and I've praised certain areas of his dawah uh, uh, against feminism and and uh, liberalism and so. Forth. Against feminism, he is a hero against feminism. He just promoted his wife that she is, fem you know, he is a. His wife, she uh, she follow Islam. She can teach Islam better than him. What? And by the way, half of their Sunnah is taken from a female. Her name is Aisha, and yet he don't dare to call the name of his wife. He call her Ummu Khalid, because supposedly it is more, uh, it is modesty, not to call a woman by her name. But they call Aisha by her name. So you know, we're, well, I've made my announcement in the past. You, yeah, there's a video on YouTube. Yesterday, of course. Because this is my field, I have to be plugged in on what's going on. I have to be up to date. And those matters, those matters concern me. Mm. And I'm not inviting you, nor am I telling you, go ahead and watch these debates. But I watch these debates. Don't watch the debate of Daniel because you will leave Islam. That's what he's saying. Because this is Dawah. And I need to know what's going on in my field. I need to be up to date. In my this is the watchdog. This guy, he need to watch, okay? You, can, you should not watch. Don't watch and laugh at Daniel. He could not answer anything. No, 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 no. But his, this is his field. He is the professional. I feel. This debate he had with this uh, strange weirdo, this lady, uh, whatever her name was. I don't even remember her name. Yeah, you don't, do you remember her T-shirt? He was looking at the legs, maybe. Yeah, he uqsum billah, something that will puzzle your uncle. What the heck will puzzle your uncle? And he's pointing his finger at his head. Okay. Something that will puzzle your uncle. The amount of stupidity is is painful. My brain cells were, were hurting. Stop, stop the bashing now. Come on, let us go move a little bit. You know, I mean, this is bashing, bashing, bashing. Look at this. Okay. And when someone is misguided, you are you are naturally re repelled by their voice, by their body language. So why you Muslim women they send me emails saying so what if your voice is so sexy? We hate you, we hate you, we hate you. I'm I'm not sure what you are to come up. Talking about voice, please. I just broke your logic. Come on, just be honest. Which by their facial expressions by every word they say, by how they sound, everything is reported. Yeah, this is why number one people who watch porn in the world are from Pakistan. Because they hate the voice of those people in the porn, they hate their look, and they hate to look at their asses. Unbelievable. True story. about them. They don't know it. And not everybody feels this way. Only people who appreciate the truth can see this, this nastiness. Hmm. This lady in this debate with him that was a bunch of waste of time, the part that hurt me the most. Oof. You see, he was hurt all over, but this is the most. We have to be honest here. The part which hurt me the most. I mean, this guy, he got nails because of this debate of Daniel and a female. A female, she defeated you. Yet you claim, you know, but I, you know, I have, I have to let it go. Me, myself, I, I, be, I believe that David Wood is very nice. And this is why, you know, you know, because he is nice, Muslim they take advantage. He should he should put his shoes in the mouth of your prophet in the front of you. But he's nice. But that will never happen with me. This is why you don't dare to debate me, you coward. So what he did, what Daniel he did, go ahead. Is that she said there's nothing in the Quran or the Sunnah, and she was challenging Daniel, you cannot a single ayah or a hadith from the Quran and Sunnah that that prevent women from going out and earning an education and being you know equal uh, uh, getting equal education as men and I'm waiting for this brother Daniel to be able to say uh, wait hello wait hello so this woman she is a Muslim woman she challenged Potato Daniel, who claimed that he have knowledge in Islam, show me one, one, just one, like not half, just one man. 
one place where it says that women, she is prevented from going out of her home to seek education, to learn, etc. Just one. A challenge. And what Daniel, he did, he put his tail between his legs. Hold on. Where is the love? Are you sure you are not a puppy? I don't know. That that prevents women from going out and earning an education and being, you know, equal, uh, uh, getting equal education as men. And I'm waiting for this brother Daniel to be able to say, uh, wait, how many ayat and ahadith do you want? Because I can cite them to you right now. Okay, well, I will let you keep waiting for now. Let us move in subject. Guys, we are waiting for Daniel to answer. Now he will watch this video, he will learn some how to answer a female. A female which the Quran says they are half, uh, they are not even equal to be a witness. A female, she defeated you, you coward, and this is the Muslim witness for that. Shame on you. Maybe you were focusing on her lips or her hips. It have to be one of them. Now we go back here. Let us hear this and die laughing. Liberalism is imposed on the entire globe and that there is no country in the world today that actually implements the Sharia in, in the fullest meaning and sense of it. I wish, I wish that I could go to a country and that's ruled by Sharia that the West won't bomb and sanction and destroy. I wish, you know. Admin, please just ban this Palestine. We want people to focus on the stupid videos. And this is stupid kid. He make you all focus in his chat. Anytime this kid, he come here. He is just a kid. Block him. How many times I said admins, especially when he used such a name. We have a video. We have a topic. If you guys want to chat with this kid, go or leave. Uh, take him to your uh, chat room, whatever you want. Everybody is busy with Palestine. What which world you are playing for you now? <laughs> he's gone? Now he's gone. After what? I wish I had that opportunity, but unfortunately I can't because of liberal supremacism. Yeah. Wouldn't it be more honest and more consistent with yourself, especially also to prove to others that you are trying to spread to your ideas too, to move to a country, for example, that is ruled by Islam? What country should I move to? Any, any, of, any, any, any country that I has... Saudi Arabia, where they are imprisoning scholars for saying anything in line with the Sharia. If I were... In Saudi Arabia, they imprison scholars. Okay, so... Well, in the USA, you don't dare to say and practice what you believe. At least there you don't pay tax to the American army to sponsor Israel. Hypocrite. Saudi Arabia, they build mosque. You can speak against the Jews. You can speak against the Christians as much as you want. Don't speak against the king. And you coward. The scholars who they are in prison, they are in prison because they spoke against the king. But isn't it your prophet, he said, that you cannot, you should not attack the emir even if he beat you, even if he steal your money? Huh? Do you see the hypocrisy? This is sunnah. By obeying the king, the emir, even if he is unjust, you are following your prophet, Sunnah. But because you are trying to find and execute your potato, you are not a true Muslims. And now you are paying tax to the kuffar. And you are obeying their law. Even the prophet said, you have to obey the emir, even if you whip your back. Be it carefully. Hmm? He, you will listen to the emir, 
and carry out his order. Even if your back is flogged and your worth is a snatch, you should listen and obey. Do you see how we got you busted in two seconds? You are a fake Muslim. You prefer to sit in your ass, which is red like a monkey, spanked by a Muslim girl, as the other guy he said, not to go to Muslim country, even though your prophet says, even if the emir is unjust, even if he beat the hell of you, even if he even steal your money and your income, you should listen and obey. Your prophet is speaking about unjust ruler. People, do you see it? Do you see how we... This is why they will never dare to get close to me. Because we will get them busted in two seconds. And this is... Oh, this is Daif. It is Daif al Sahih Muslim. <laughs> Sahih Muslim is Daif. Al Bukhari is Daif. And he himself, by the way, he caught a weak hadith just for the sake of... Uh... <laughs> Now, where was the video? Which one? I think it was here. No, not here. Okay, continue, continue. Where I'm going to go? All Islamic countries, they are unjust. That's weird. Look like Muslim countries are unjust. And by the way, when he said here that I'm trying to convince David that Muslim uh, Christians, they were better to go to Muslim states, way better than Christian countries or liberal countries and modern Christians current Christians would much prefer to live under an Islamic state than <laughs> I heard that there is two million Muslim from Syria alone in Germany I heard that Erdogan is a threat in Europe if they don't pay him money he will open the border because nobody want to live in a Muslim Turkey state I heard that people, Muslims, they cross the sea and they die in the way just to go even to Ukraine. Even Ukraine became a direction of, of immigration. Uh, uh, I heard that no Muslim will go to Saudi to immigrate. No Muslims is going to Emirat. I heard that the one who is feeding the Muslims refugee is the Kuffar. Where are you Muslims? Do you see the hypocrisy? Christian, they prefer to live in the Islamic state, and he himself he prefer not to go to Muslim state because they are unjust. They are arresting scholars in Muslim state. They are not good. Mm, yeah. Any any of any of any, any country that goes to Saudi Arabia where they are imprisoning scholars for saying anything in line with the Sharia. If I were in Saudi, right? Are they doing that? Saudi. You are a liar. We just showed that you know he's speaking. There's one 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 cleric. He been imprisoned for he said that we are not. Allowed. We you know he saw a dream. The prophet he told him we cannot meet here because there is some situation which he's talking that the Saudi family they are watching. But we just showed you Muhammad. He says you have to obey your emir even if he's unjust. The only time a Muslim he can go and oppose them if they announce that they are kuffar. If they announce it, if they do an act of kufr, which means they say Muhammad is not a prophet, Allah is not God, or either one, because Muhammad is Allah. You are a hypocrite, you are a coward, you are... Later, by the way, we'll talk about muta. we will enjoy you. He is doing that because of who? The West, right? Because of Israel, right? Because of America, right? Because of America, right? I mean, the king of Saudi Arabia... Uh, the Congress in the U.S. saying the Crown Prince they would sanctions on on uh, Saudi Arabia. They don't want him to come to you to U.S.A. Uh, uh, France. Uh, every uh, those kuffar they put sanctions even on China for the sake of Muhammadan. And but blaming America, but not a single Muslim country, but sanctions. Did you stop buying Chinese? Hey, Abdul, the. Clothing you are wearing, I will shave my beard if it is not made by the kuffar. 
even the one is made in Bangladesh, the fabric is made in China. Everything you see behind you is coming from China. The computer you are, the phone you are using, where, where are those coming from? Apple is made in China. Microsoft, they do 90% of their work in China. You go to any grocery store, you go to any uh, clothing store, the keyboard you are using is made in China. So he is blaming the, the, the American brother, but as you see, Taliban is a free Muslim country now. ISIS, they have a state, even they have a, they have even their coins and their currency, and they have their borders and they control almost half of Syria and half more than 70% of Iraq. He did not go. Why you don't live in the mountains with the Mujahideen, where Sharia is a practice? But you are just a little boy. Maybe you are an agent for some agency trying to get the names of the Mohammedans. You glorified uh, Brunei, for example. You, you wrote an article that says <laughs> some of this also. Okay, logically, you know, anyone can see this. Isn't Brunei much closer to your ideal world than America? Well, I mean, there's other issues. He wrote an article glorifying the Sultan of Brunei. Why you don't go to Brunei? Listen carefully. As well, like with me personally, because I was born in the U.S. These countries aren't giving me citizenship. They won't give me citizenship in many cases. And unfortunately, because of the nation state system, uh, if you're not a citizen, you weren't born there, then you're a second class. You are a liar. You are allowed to marry their four wives. Oh, what you need to do? You marry additional wife in USA. You can practice Islam. You cannot marry a second wife. You go there, marry a wife, two, three more more wives. You will get the citizenship. You will stay there as long as you want. But you betray you are. Even the son, the, the daughter of the Sultan, she married an Iraqi guy. Iraqi. You have one wife. You have three vacancies. You go in the airport. You are, uh, you know, those people, they like, uh, you know, so Brunei, they like uh, American uh, white people. They will fight over you over that. You go to the mosque, he says, hey, guys, who want to help me to get uh, citizen, uh, residency? Right away, I will say, you can marry my daughter. No, problem solved. Liar. Liar. Coward. Potato. Tomato. Citizen. <laughs> And unfortunately, because of the nation state system, uh, if you're not a citizen, you weren't born there, then you're a second class citizen. You're a second class citizen. Look like Muslim country, they treat you, they treat Muslim second class citizen. I thought Muslim countries, they treat the Muslims equal citizen. So if Muslims in Muslim countries are treated second class citizen, class citizen, even if you are American, what they would do to someone is not Muslim. <laughs> do you see the just? Brother, do you see how just Islamic countries, even the country, the most Islamic country, Brunei, what about Malaysia? Malaysia? Brother, Taliban, brother. Do <laughs> you believe that slavery is, uh, is, is an ideal system? Do you believe? Now here, this is a different story. Guys, if you are eating food, if you are drinking, I warn you, you should stop. You will die laughing. Listen carefully. He said to him, "Do you believe that slavery should exist? That uh, people should be that there should be slaves in a society. Do you think slavery is okay? Yeah, I mean, slavery is something that um, I do not find to be immoral. Is there really a fundamental difference between wage labor and slave labor? Is there is there a difference between owning someone? Listen, listen. If there's a difference between wage labor. And slavery. So you, you get wages, you work for Albayan, you get wages, that means you are a slave. Mm, that's a good one. The difference between owning someone versus renting someone. Stop. 
If there is any different, which one is better? Owning someone or renting someone? People, did you hear? This is the guy who he claimed that he de defeated David Wood. Imagine he was speaking to me and he said that. Which one is better? Let me, let me, let me play this again. I'm going to make it a ringtone. Hey, black people, are you? do you hear this? This is Islam. Which one is better? Look at this mouth, look. Like a hole of a snake. A hole in the butt of an idiot. What? What? We? What? In a society. Do you think slavery is okay? Yeah. I mean, yeah. slavery is something that um, I do not find to be immoral. Is there really a fundamental difference between wage labor and slave labor? Is there is there a difference? So when when the Quran says you pay your wife her wages after you have sex with her, uh, she is doing a slave labor. Mm, she got wages. In owning someone versus renting someone. Let us stop with renting someone. What about the muta'a? Which you said that owning someone is better than renting someone. Everybody heard you. According to the Sharia, muta'a is a kind of rental. Alislam.org. Uh, by the way, the Muslims that are warning you, take 21 minutes to read, brother. Because your Muslims are your time is a priceless. You spend the day 20 minutes to, to wash, which is, is you're still not clean because you are not washing, and 20 minutes to prepare for the, the, the prayer, and 20 minutes to pray, and then 20 minutes after that to drink tea, and then it's time to go home. Uh, the full pillar of muta. I don't want to read all of it. It says here that muta is a form. Of rental or kind of rental read carefully you said which one is better to rent someone or to own someone according to you to own someone but you Muslims do both you rent Muslim women read with me carefully in some work, special term applied to women who participate in muta. Musta'ajara. Musta'ajara in Arabic mean or rented women. Muta is considered as a rental, of a kind of rental, because in general, the a man basic aim in this kind of marriage, they call it marriage. <laughs> but it's funny, the Muslim they use marriage, to, but even in Arabic it says nikah, it's to F a woman, not to it says rental, you rent her to F her only, not excuse my language. You know, if you are sensitive, you can leave. So rental, because general main basic aim of this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women. Women in Islam. They are for rent. Be my witness. She is for rent. You, you have to tell her for how long you will F her, how much you will pay her. And then, you know, here in the website, they explain there is four. Uh, and then if she agree with the terms, which mean the time, and the money you will pay her for effing her because she is a decent Muslim woman, mashallah. It's okay. Now, this guy he will say to you, Oh, this is abrogated, but it's in the Quran. Did Allah make a mistake? Is it shameful? Why he abrogated? But anyway, this is a different story because Muhammad always he do things, he change it in the speed of light because obviously he is the prophet. But we go back here. When he said, it is which one is better, owning someone as a slave or renting someone? Listen carefully. In wage labor and slave labor, is there is there a difference between owning someone versus renting someone? Renting someone is worse because think about the difference between owning a car and renting a car. When you rent a car, you drive it, you know, in, in a very abusive kind of way, as opposed to owning. 
this filthy man he just said if you need a slave hey African American African and Africa African around the world Asian everybody this is the just and the mercy of Allah which one is better owning a car is better than renting a car obviously owning the car is better therefore Owning a person is better than renting a person. Therefore, slavery is better than wage labor. <laughs> Conclusion, good slavery. Slavery is good. <laughs> oh boy. You know, in the Old Testament, uh, we know that slavery exists in the Old Testament, right? And there is uh, you offer your service for there's somebody uh, you borrow money from me and you cannot pay me back at that time what are people they cannot what they can do so the man he will offer his service for maximum of seven years you can call it slavery but it is not he can, the, the 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 person he, he cannot uh, sell you and buy you no he's not buying you he is uh, have the right to use your service because you could not pay him so you say okay I uh, you know uh, to pay you a thousand dollar I need to work for you 30 days so I will be your servant for the coming 30 days and the depth can be big it can be but the maximum is seven years here we are talking about a human being he did not borrow any money from you you capture him you kidnap him as Muhammad he owned Bilal and Bilal was begging for his freedom from Abu Bakr and Muhammad dies still the poor Bilal is slave and Muslims they have tons of thousands of slaves all the caliphate prostitution there's a video made by three uh, uh, Muslims it's called it's okay to be a pimp in the Quran look like it's okay to be a pimp in the Quran you can see the video in uh, Hatun uh, channel so now this guy is explaining that listen let us be logical it's better to own a human than renting a human where you that's your investment you care about it investment it's investment see the ideal form of government this is something that Muslims have to think about very carefully so now he is saying democracy is not good but when they speak to, to, to other people, they talk about Islam teach justice, uh, Islam teach uh, etc. And now, uh, democracy is bad. The prophet he used to ask his companions, and suddenly now, you know, you see how they change? The men they speak to whom? The video I'm, re I'm, I'm showing you now, it's called The Extreme Hypocrisy of Muslim Skeptic, Daniel Hakakati Chochuju. However, Mimi Hijab, he spoke about those people. This guy, he considered himself Salafi. What Mimi Hijab, he said about this guy? To do you and your friends, yeah? It's acquiesced to the fact that you guys are going around, yeah, marrying people for two minutes and three minutes and five minutes and one hour, two hours, whatever it may be. What? Salafis are always accused marriage. What, what, what? What those Muslim Salafi, they do? Hey. You said the Christian they cancelled David Wood. What the heck is that? All you're happy to do, you and your friends, yeah, is acquiesce to the fact that you guys are going around, yeah, marrying people for two minutes and three minutes and five minutes and one hour, two hours, whatever it may be. Salaf is <laughs> All the Salafi in the world, they marry girls for five minutes, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, one hour, two hours. Did you hear it? Salafi mean the Orthodox Muslims, the real Muslims. So we have a Salafi, he said, which one is better? To own a human or to rent a human? The rest you can watch it. All of it is, you know, I mean, this guy is really an idiot. And I would love to debate him because I can use him for a snack, you know, for good time. All of them, they line up to debate apostate prophet, David Wood, 
I mean, nobody come to me. Nobody. I guess because they are so powerful. They knew they would win. It's not worth it. You know? And now, I think I need to go because I need to find someone to rent. I mean, somebody to own better than renting. And, you know, sorry, I cannot go to a Muslim country because there is no Muslims left. And, you know, when you made this video about uh, uh, David Wood, and you were laughing about David Wood saying there's a balance. <laughs> Are you sure the sound is coming from your mouth? I doubt it. Why are you all laughing? And they're leaving Islam like it's a sport. And we're at the beginning of an avalanche of apostasy. The avalanche of apostasy. The avalanche of So he's laughing at David Wood, quoting a Muslim sheikh for what he said. There's avalanche of apostasy. But isn't it your prophet, he said, that the Muslims will leave the Kaaba and nobody will do Hajj no more? <laughs> is it true is it true that time will come and nobody will do hajj no more brother what's wrong with you Nobody will do Hajj. Who said that? You're a prophet. It's a prophecy. Are you making fun of your prophet? And then he is showing some numbers, which I don't know where he got them from, and he is laughing. But we just saw a video of you explaining why Muslims leave Islam. And when you're a prophet, he said that people will leave the Hajj. Nobody will practice the Hajj. Even your prophet, he said that the faith of Muslims will be the same as a snake. Islam will be the same as a snake going back to its hole. To where? To its hole. Are you laughing at your prophet? You must be an idiot. Are you saying your prophet is a liar? Is he? Look, this is Al-Bukhari, this is Muslims, this is Sahih. People will leave the faith and Islam describe as your prophet as a snake and you are a snake, you coward. You are a snake. You are a bully. And you Muslims, all of you, you bully each other. You don't have a religion. You don't have God. You have a bully prophet. Even the Quran have a bully chapter about the uncle of Muhammad. Let us hope that those cowards will accept the challenge. Which I don't think so, because they know their size. Christians, if you want to debate Muslims, Muslims are bully. They bully you. So if you are not the kind of a person who can take their bully and use it for your benefit, don't debate them. They're bullying if you are kind. That's why they are coming to you, actually, because you are very kind. The second they see that you are kind, they come to you. They don't come to me. And if they can beat me, one more, what they will lose, correct? 
all of them, they can refute me by making a response, but they cannot let me call them, and they will not dare to call me. So we offer this guy. He can go live in his channel. I will go live in my channel. We speak in Skype. Who is the man? And is going to be recorded. People will die laughing either at you and your prophet. And, uh, you know, by the way, if you won't need help, I mean, if you like to rent or to buy uh, some slaves before, you, you know, you debate me. I mean, uh, it's okay, you know. And uh, and if you want to move to Taliban so you can free to talk to me and answer me because now you are... You can you cannot do anything because you are not living in a free country. You you know you attack Israel, you attack the Christians, and still you are saying, in a Muslim country they arrest you, but in a Christian country you are not arrested. How the irony work in this world? Hmm. Well, I mean, there's other issues as well, like with me personally, because I was born in the U.S. These countries aren't giving me citizenship. They won't give me citizenship in many cases. And unfortunately, because of the nation state system, uh, if you're not a citizen, you weren't born there, then you're a second class citizen. <laughs> and unfortunately, because of the nation state system, uh, if you're not a citizen, you weren't born there, then you're a second class citizen. You're a second class citizen. <laughs> Do you believe that slavery is, uh, is, is an ideal system? Do you believe that uh, people should be, that there should be slaves in a society? Do you think slavery is okay? Yeah. I mean, slavery is something that. Um, I do not find to be immoral. Is there really a fundamental difference between wage labor and slave labor? Is there is there a difference between owning someone versus renting someone? Renting someone is worse because think about the difference between owning a car and renting it. Okay, uh, Mr. Potato, I have a challenge for you as long as this is your opinion. Why you don't make an ad in Facebook in your page says, I am... Uh, I have. I want to buy some girls, or boys, or adult. Why you don't do it? I will tell you why you don't do it. You believe in it, but you are coward. Literally, you believe in something. You say something, and you do the opposite. You say we should not obey the rulers. Of the kuffar but you pay tax and you report your tax like a puppy every year every year like a puppy you know what puppy mean every year not only that is using the currency of the kuffar is halal he himself he posted a video short video about using the dollar and he agreed with the guy in the video where he's saying the uh, like uh, uh, the incorrupt uh, whatever they call it uh, currency, the Bitcoin, is halal, and he said the scholars uh, uh, say that using the dollar is haram, but because of necessity we have to use it. Do you see the hypocrisy of this those those people? Their prophet he forbid them totally to obey the Christians, to pay them tax. To take them as protectors, to take them as government. Who is the police in your in your where you live? What is his name, the chief of the police? Muhammad Ali? Huh? So my friends, I wanted to show you why when you debate Muslims, if you are a person who debate them, being nice. Is going to be used against you. David Wood is very nice, too much nice. Those people they take your kindness as weakness. Hit the head of the snake and stop debating about violence. And I do care. Let us debate about Muhammad being a prophet or not. Hmm? This guy, you want to debate everybody about violence. The prophet, he had sex with six years old. Show me one verse in the Bible. Just one verse. It says you cannot have uh, 
uh, I saw I saw a video here actually in the short you know I was flipping his videos just for a laugh before I go live let us see where's the video Christians are always criticizing Islam on the issue of slavery, on the issue of the marriage of the Prophet وسلم, to Aisha, on the issue of lack of religious freedom. Well, here's a challenge for you Christians. Give me one Bible verse that explicitly and categorically hmm. forbids minor marriage. One by Did you hear? So this guy... He will go only by scriptures when he want. When he wants, he go by the hadith. <laughs> Scripture. Don't give me a hadith of somebody. Don't give me a hadith of the church, church father. No, no, no. We have to go by the scriptures. But we have in the scriptures tons of verses. What this potato is talking about. Let us go and take a take a look a second, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, this is not this is not even uh, I don't want to say I am uh, I'm the one is answering uh, here it says got a question dot org I got a question what what uh, what the define of ch uh, of child verified okay here it says what does the Bible says about child marriage I just search and take you to a second it says here uh, Boys are not to be considered men in fullest sense until the age of 20. The book of Numbers uh, uh, reinforced the age of 20 for men's coming to age. Uh, only men at the age of 20 years old or more were counted to be eligible to serve in the army. And now uh, uh, here, uh, the book of Numbers 4.3, 23 30 uh, and then the book of numbers uh, 8 to 24 26 is speaking about the age of 25 however Jesus himself he said and I'm not going to read him from this article now the man and the women the man he will leave his family his parents and he will be one with his women, 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 not a child. What about you find me, the prophet who married children? Don't you Muslim follow Sunni? What is the age of marriage in Islam? There's no age. As long as you don't go unless you find an exact word according to the Shia even if you are one day old you are fit for marriage however you cannot do intercourse until the girl she is ready to be a <clears throat> you know what does that mean this is the decision you make Muhammad he married her at six he ifed her at nine so you're trying to defend, and let us say all other religions they practice the same garbage. Let us say all religion in the world they sleep with the children. That will not make your prophet is not a coward, liar, filthy pedophile. Is that how you defend? This is your defense. What about, and he speak about having wives, etc. First of all, he said the Jews, they say that Muhammad is not a prophet because he had many wives. No, this is not what the Jews says. You are a liar again. If we go in the Quran, we will find the Jews says the different story. They say that we will not take him as a prophet unless he make a sacrifice and then a fire come from heaven. As Allah told us, he never said to him, you are having many wives. What this guy is talking about? Where in the Quran it says that? This guy, he is throwing his Quran under the bus. This is your stupid yellow pages Quran saying what the Jews said to Muhammad. They did not say to him, you are a womanizer. There is other people, they say he's a womanizer. 
They did. But the reason they don't believe in him, they say it, according to the Quran, those who say that we will not believe until, as you see in front of you, until he gave a sacrifice. And then Allah will send the fire from heaven and will consume it. This is why the Jews refuse him. He could not give any sign. He has zero miracles. He could not perform any miracle in front of everybody. And this is your stupid Quran saying that, and you are a liar. They were not complaining about how many wives he had. They were complaining, you are a false prophet. Because, why? Because they have Abraham. Isn't it the Quran says Abraham he gave sacrifice? Isn't it your Quran says that even the sons of Adam they gave sacrifice and Allah he sent the fire and he consumed it to approve the one he agreed with? So according to your stupid book, the fire from heaven is the way to approve a person. Chapter 5, verse number 27, speaking about the children of Adam. So sacrifice started from Adam time. One son of Adam he gave a sheep or a lamb. The other one he gave vegetables. Your God Allah is not vegetarian. This is how he approved. Which one he approved? So the Jews they said, well, as long as this is the way to approve, and Allah he told us. And look, the previous verse. The Quran did not say Allah did not tell them that. He did not say, they not, no, I did not say that to them. No, actually the Quran confirm it. The interpretation confirm it. Those Jews said, verily Allah has taken our promise not to believe in any messenger unless he bring to us an offering which a fire from heaven shall devour. Say, verily there come to you messengers before me with the clear signs, which means he agreed. And he agreed that messengers before me, they come with the same size you are a sign you are asking for. But you know you will not believe anyway, so I'm not going to have it. That is a false excuse. And if they are not going to believe, and Allah He knew the future they will believe or not. Well, well, he why he made the sign happen? Secondly, you stupid idiot. If they will not believe. And this is the excuse. So how the Jews believe in Abraham? And the fire came. <laughs> Do you see the liars? The Jews believe in Moses. Which prophet they don't believe in? We are talking about Jews in the time of Muhammad. They have the Torah. They believe in Abraham. They believe in Isaac. I mean, what those people are talking about? So the coward, the liar, that says, you know, why you don't accept Muhammad? Uh, Solomon, he have many sons, uh, many wives. Uh, David, he have many wives. And the Quran even speak about David. He was a womanizer. And he, you know, uh, he was a spying at the women from the window uh, of his uh, palace. And then he sent his, her husband to war. And this is a story being copied from the Bible. But who said, that this person was doing the right thing. God condemned him for doing that. Your God in the Quran, he praised Muhammad for flirting with the married women, Zainab, to her, to, to his, his son. He go to the, the house when the son is not there. Why he is in the house? Because he been trusted he is the father of this man. He adopted this man. He is considered as a father. So the woman, she opened the door for him. He's a prophet of God. You have to trust the prophet. What he do? He flirt with her. And brother, Allah told Muhammad that this woman is yours. Can you believe that there is a man being promised by God that you will have this woman? Hmm? In chapter 33. And the funny, the Quran says, that when Zainab, when sorry Zaid, sorry let me call Zaid, when Zaid 
he uh, uh, he finished ifing Zainab, which means he don't want her no more. He have enough fun with him, with her. As we see here, I'm trying to open the interpretation. The website is not coming, but we will go to the verse. It's okay. So when Zaid he had enough of her, of if in her, Watara, Allah said to, uh, to Muhammad, uh, Why you are telling the man, uh, keep your wife? Have you ever heard the, the Quran saying Muhammad is a hypocrite? His son came to him after he learned that she is, she told him, your father, he was here and he flirted with me and he said to her, praise be Allah, the one who made my heart to flip for you. Muhammad saw to him, told him, oh man, keep your wife, man. The, the interpretation says, or the hadith, Fafatina Zaid, which means he got it. His wife already, she is sleeping with Muhammad. She is a whore. Can you believe a woman? She tell her husband, your father is a flirting with me and she like it? What kind of woman she is? And instead of saying to him, I will never let him get inside the house. And then Zainab, she said, after the prophet, he flirted with her. Each time her husband, he went, if her, Allah, he made his penis as well. This is the miracle of Muhammad. The penis of the husband who is married to this woman he swelled why because Muhammad want to F her this is a big miracle because the penis became so big the guy want to F her Allah will not let him the second he ends it he grab it he want to do it Allah make his penis swell he stay away from it, his penis lose air. It's a miracle. <laughs> and the funny, if I say I am the one saying that, they will say he's a liar. It doesn't say that, Siti. I challenge you. Hey, Daniel, if you dare to call me, challenge me to show you the reference. Challenge me. Say, hey, Christian Prince, you are a liar. It doesn't say that, see me. So, my friends, those Muslims, they speak against David Wood. I criticize David Wood too, because he is very soft with Muslims. I said many times, he is not good in debate. He is very good in making short videos. But when a liar like this says that Christian, they cancel David Wood, you coward, you stupid, you liar. This guy, he left a channel, he have 600,000 people following him. You're a prophet, says, my nation will be 73 sect. The Christians, the Jews, they will be 71. That means you Muslims, you cancel each other. You cancel each other. If we ask this potato, is the Shia a Muslim? He will say no. Here we go, we cancel 600, 700 Muslim, Muslim Muslims. Is the Ahmadiyya Muslims? No. Okay, we cancel maybe 40, 50 million Muslims. What about the Druze? No, we cancel them. What about uh, this, that, you know? No, no, no. So who is the Muslims? Who is the Muslims? And when your false prophet, the most obvious, as actually David Wood, he says, most obvious. You see, I'm using now, uh, I will use what I, I remind you. I use it too, and David Wood, he use it. But now because you are bashing David Wood, uh, David Wood, he said, the most obvious prophet. So he says, uh, my nation will be 70, the Jewish, the Christians, they will be 71, 72 sect. The Muslims will be 73. That means Muslims canceling Muslims. And your prophet is canceling all the Muslims because only one sect. And which one is the sect? If you tell me the majority, that will be stupid. Because which sect is the majority? Even Sunni is not one sect. And they disagree with each other. Is the Sufi 
Muslims, the one who dance in the mosque, the one who play music, the one who have a billy bars and billy dancing in Turkey. Which one is the Muslims? Is Taliban Muslims who have betcha boys? Who bring a boy and he they decorate him with makeup and then they sleep with him? Where is the Muslims? Who is a Muslim? So my friends, I hope we have a good time. Now, my time with the, uh, with the StreamYard became limited. So either I have to pay to continue using them or we will see you use different method. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys, you have a good time. Please don't forget to download the video as soon as it's finished. And uh, I say to the Muslims, even when we disagree with David Wood about many things he, he do, like his debate as an example, but we say to you, we love him. And his shoes is better than your prophet. At least he don't go and marry a child. At least he don't flirt with his brother wife or his uh, son wife, if you have one. At least he will not teach muta. You are talking about heretic, you coward. You don't even know who's Allah. You don't know what the name Allah means. You have a God he blow in the vagina of women. So, because they are bully people, they try to bully the man. You can bully us. We laugh at you. And the Christians, all of them, they knew why you hate him and why you are bullying him. So Christians, let us make a vote. Do you love J do you love David Wood? Do you love David Wood? I I vote, I say yes. I disagree with him with many things, especially the way he debate. But I love the man. Why not? He is my brother. He's a good man. He do his best. This is his best, the way he, you know. Uh, and his videos, the short videos, is the best. Nobody can make short videos as he do. Even even I, I cannot do it. My short video is two hours. All of you, you know. So we love him. They try to make us hate those who speak the truth. They try to bully them. But you know better. You know why they are bullying them. You know why they hate them. This is a religion of the bullies. Muhammad himself was a bully. Allah is a bully. So they hate him for a good reason, for he is a good person. If he was a bad person, they will praise him. And I say to you, the second you see those cowards praising someone, claiming to be Christian, that means this person is a false man. If one day those people, they start saying Christian Prince is amazing, that means Christian Prince is not listened to no more. He will be like a damaged milk, poisoned. So I disagree with David Wood in many things, the way he debates Muslims. But he is our brother in Christ. He's a good man. He's a smart man. And he can do great things. And he did the great things. And we support him. And actually, if you come back to YouTube, I encourage everyone of you to subscribe to him immediately. And again, there's many things I don't agree with him. But we know why they bash him. And why they bash anyone, you know. They are coward, they are bully, and they are false like their prophet. Uh, any any question, guys? Any have a question? Yeah, I'm trying to shorten it because uh, StreamYard, they told me I have uh, I have only a few hours left. To use you know and to abuse <laughs> and we are in the middle of the month already so almost my time is gone maybe I will give you some vacation for a few days you know uh, so you can yeah, get rid of me you know and maybe Daniel he can sharp his teeth hey Daniel do you want to have a hey by the way why you don't go and join me hijab take off your t-shirt in front of the Chinese embassy 
I mean, the Chinese T-shirt is made in China, and Mimi Hijab is wearing it. <laughs> All right, my friends. I hope uh, the message is delivered. I hope you guys will download the, the video, and uh, don't listen to those cowards. Don't don't ever believe that buying someone is better than renting someone. This person is mentally sick. And maybe some of you actually can take this part and show it to black African American because they try to fool the African American about how Islam is good to about is, is against slavery. Owning someone is better than renting someone, which means this religion believe they can rent a human and they believe they can buy a human. And not only buying. The slavery is talking about about capturing you too. Which one is better? Owning? The Quran used the word malakatul yameen, which means you own by your hand, your right hand. So, brothers, I love you all. And to our brother David Wood, we say we love you. And we encourage you to do better. And next time you debate those Abduls, use your shoes, not only your tongue. This is my advice. I know your shoes is big. I oh, come on. I know it. <laughs> so I want to say thank you all for being here. And Ante, we'll see you soon again. May the Lord bless you. Again, if you don't see the video in my channel, it's mean I made it unlisted, and you can find the link in Patreon. And when I say Patreon, doesn't mean you have to donate. As you know, my work is for free. Patreon is like my page, it's like my Facebook. I don't have Facebook, I don't have a Twitter. All right, Kabich, you can sign there and you can find, and it's for free. You don't need to donate a penny, actually. Maybe 95, 90% of those who they are there, they never donated a dollar or a cent. So join us in Patreon. And so if we, we don't show a link because YouTube hates us, we replace it with different link usually. And you can still download the video or watch it. All right. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And Ante will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. And Daniel is a potato. And Muslims are making fun of him, as we saw. Actually, there's more, more videos I should play. But it's too much. Too much to play. Enough is enough. Thank you. God bless. Take care.